A lot of people have asked about the the tractor probably seen it in a lot of videos the hay and and other things that we've done around here um, this is a 1969 ford 4000 uh, with a looks like a custom uh, front loader on it i'm not sure if this was a factory original or not um, it's possible that it was it's a pretty heavy duty uh, front loader uh, it's in you know it's it's old <laughs> so it's got a few things i'm always out here you know fixing things it's missing a headlight uh you saw in the video there i had a a loose uh fuel line that was leaking so i've got that fixed up um today and uh it's a great 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 little tractor um this thing has it has uh eight gears 10 if you include reverse um it has a high and a low speed setting so these are like your road gears and these are your field gears i'm not sure if that's the technical name for them or not but um but uh, you can get going pretty quick in eighth gear that's for sure tack uh, doesn't work i know a lot of people have asked about that um especially with the hay videos people always tell me you know why don't you set your rpms to this amount and that's what your pto should be for hay bailing but uh the tack doesn't work so that's uh that's why. <laughs> That's why I don't set it to anything. Uh, it's got a few hydraulic leaks. 
uh, little ones here and, and some other things. So there's some things, there's always things to fix when you have old, old equipment. Um, power steering has a little bit of a leak, so I top that off every once in a while. Um, but overall, I mean, this is a, this is a great tractor. Uh, I bought a few little implements for it. I've got the um, little rear blade here, uh, which works awesome for, for snow plowing, grading the driveway and uh, just leveling, leveling space out. Uh, it really works great for snow plowing though. I didn't, I used to use the bucket, uh, solely just the bucket, but the problem with the bucket is it doesn't auto level to the ground. So um, as the tractor, you're going through, you know, this, uh, your driveway or your land is going like this, you're, you're digging into the ground with the bucket and you end up with a lot of dirt. I still use the front loader here to push a lot of snow out of the way. Um, if it's really heavy snow, I'll go through with the front loader first and kind of keep it about an inch off the ground and, and just get the majority of the snow out of the way. And then I'll come back through with the, with the rear blade and, and man, that thing works great. I have the uh, um, hay baler here and a few other implements that I have purchased also, the sickle bar and hay rake and stuff. So when you're looking, if you're looking to go out and, and, you know, if you're in a subdivision or city or a smaller lot and you're looking to move out into the country like we did last year and um, be more sustainable and do the whole farming type thing or even just a little bit of homesteading, which is kind of in between, right? Uh, a tractor is a must. Even if you don't go this big, I would definitely get something with a front loader. The front loader has been just vital to everything that we plan to do around here. Moving things around, uh, just anything that's heavy, you can move stuff around with this, you can level stuff out with this. Even without the rear blade, I can do almost everything with this front bucket. Uh, moving compost and wood chips and, and uh, just anything. Uh, cleaning out stalls and, and barnyards and um, it just makes makes light work of, of a lot of heavy, heavy jobs. So definitely look at something with a front loader. Um, it's really going to depend on what you want to do. In my case, I wanted to do hay, and so I wanted to make sure I had a, a tractor that had enough horsepower to uh, run a decent sized hay baler. This is a 55 horse. Um, it's a gas engine. It's a three cylinder. Um, this is plenty of power for anything that I'll ever need to do here. Uh, diesel would be great too. A lot of people recommend a diesel, but uh, you know, I'm more familiar with a gas engine, and this has plenty of power, so uh, I'm happy with, with what I got. Um, today it's uh, below zero out. Uh, with wind chill, it's like negative 15. It's very cold. Uh, it's really hard starting equipment like this. It's older uh, when it's this cold out. The nice thing about this tractor is it has a block warmer in it. So I plug it in and I put that little adapter in there that you saw at the beginning, and that uh, warms the engine. As far as I know, it actually heats the, the block and the uh, coolant, and that coolant starts to kind of circulate in there. And so if you let it, let it uh, heat up for a couple hours, um, the engine's like practically like it's been running, and it just fires right up usually for me. So I decided I'd kind of take you through and, and show you how I'm using the tractor in the wintertime. Uh, most, the majority of the work that I'll do when there's snow on the ground is moving snow with this. Uh, when we get into the spring, we'll be using this for moving mulch and wood chips and compost around, getting gardens ready, uh, getting fields ready, uh, preparing areas for greenhouses. I'll be using this in the springtime or late winter also to move maple syrup containers around, uh, 55 gallon drums full of sap and uh, other things like that. So just a, a vital tool for the farm. If this is your first time to the channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. Reach down, hit that red subscribe button. As also hit that little bell next to it. That allows you to get up alerts and updates when we post new videos. So lots of uh, gardening, farming, DIY uh, projects and other things coming up here in the uh, uh, winter, spring and, and, and all year round really. So we try to get three videos out a week. As always guys, don't forget to hit thumbs up and thanks for watching. Have a good one.